Carrying out the square root transformation is not particularly complicated. We just simply take the column that we want to transform, which is the pollen grains deposited column, and take the square root function of that and assign it into a new column called transformed grains or whatever you want to call it. I can plot the transformed grains of pollen against the tube length in millimeters. Now the plot is not nearly as concentrated in the short end of the tubes. So the variance difference seems to be improved quite a bit, although it is a bit smaller on this side than on this side. I will go ahead and create a new linear model based on the transformed y values and put a trend line on top of that. I will pull the residuals out and then create a histogram of them. This histogram looks much more normal and a lot less skewed than the last time I did it. And if I run the plot of the model and hit enter, here I see my residual plot as I had before. Hit enter again. The normal quanto plot looks much better. There's a little bit of deviation on the ends, but overall it's pretty good fit to the line here. And this is verified if I run the Shapiro test, which gives me a p-value of 0.1, which is above 0.05. Here's a summary showing the effect of the square root transformation. I can see that the residuals have a much more homogeneous variance between the high and low levels than they did here. The histogram is much less skewed. Shapiro-Wilkes test is a higher value and the normal quantile plot is more linear. So I'm going to go ahead and run a summary of the model I see that this is in fact a highly significant regression. P equals about two times 10 to the minus six power. And the value of the slope is positive, which makes sense based on the fact that the line was sloping upward. So there is a significant increase in the number of pollen grains deposited as the length of the floral tube gets longer. Here is what the results of the test after the transformation look summarized. The, although the p-value indicates this is a highly significant effect, the r squared is rather small. It's not a very tight fit to the line. What this means is that the reason I was able to observe this relatively small effect is because I had a relatively large sample size that made that small effect become noticeable. The test had reasonably good statistical power to detect an effect with this amount of scatter around the trend line.